Fantastic. I lost this. Mr. Magneto. Mary Talley took pinches every penny to get by. Mm -hmm. Living in the remote community of Kluktuk in western Nunavut, fuel, shelter, goods, and travel cost a small fortune. So when she's told she owes $300 in order to rebook her kids' dental appointments, she has to make tough decisions. I asked if Maya could be rebooked because I wanted the two children to fly out at the same time. So I was wondering how am I going to come up with $300. I know I received the child tax, but with their needs, it's practically all gone like in two days. Teletuk's five-year-old daughter, Maya, has been waiting since November of 2021 to go down south and receive critical dental work. I was scared because, because seeing my child in pain from her, from her abscess. And then at, that, at the time she had the abscess, she wasn't eating and she, there were times where she, she'd cry and cry and cry because she's hungry. In the meantime, as she waits for that dental appointment, she puts the majority of her money into feeding her four kids. According to the latest statistics from Nunavut's Food Security Coalition, nearly 70% of Inuit homes in the territory are food insecure. Airfare is also six to ten times more expensive than ground freight in other remote regions. Once a year, the sea lift delivers goods, significantly reducing the cost. But even this year's sky-high inflation has made it hard to predict the rising expenses. Kimnick Klinkenberg is a young mother who's worked in retail and food supply on and off for five years. When the store orders sea lift they do it ahead by year and that's your sea lift order but you still have to make sure the store has enough food for the community so you're ordering things and it comes in by freight a couple weeks ago there was an issue with weather down south mm -hmm. so we didn't get freight for like a week the store is empty in her experience when the stores risk losing money it's the community who pays the price. We go back to like the freight, the mm -hmm. fuel to fly a plane here. Then we just got that tax on oils and stuff. That's that's hurting. Yeah. The cost of flying food up here, heavy things. Just to keep the store clean, they would order dust bane and it would be $100 for a small little box. Yeah. That's just to keep the store clean. So what are mothers in Kulaktuk doing? Upgrading their skills and searching for better paying jobs. Stay tuned for part two of this story about how one employment program is working to ensure that no family goes hungry. Charlotte Mort Jacobs, APTN National News, Kulaktuk.